So going to Thingiverse is absolutely fantastic as long as somebody else has already designed what it is that you need. If they've not, well, what do you do? Sit around doing nothing or have a crack at designing it yourself? And I figured, well, why not? So, as you can see, similarities between the two. Um, I pinched that bit because I liked it. I made it a little bit bigger. Um, I chopped off that bit because obviously I don't need it. And then I found somebody else's model on Thingiverse that um, had the S2 uh, charge station holder. Um, and also theirs came with a Galaxy Note 4 um, charge thing. And it just, it was more of a holder. It wasn't a charger as well. So it didn't kind of work that well. Um, but I thought it'd be great to see how you actually make models and chop things up and do whatever. So let's watch and see how I came up with this. We use Autodesk 123D design um, simply because it was a freebie and um, I just wanted to get on with it and uh, try it out really. So I'm going to load up the iPhone and iWatch uh, docking station that I got off um, Thingiverse. Um, and then basically cut it up into the bits that I want. So I'm basically going to take the part where the phone sits and the cable comes through to charge the phone um, and get rid of the part for the Apple Watch because obviously I don't need that bit. So the easy thing to do is uh, you go to sketch, you make a little box that's the size of the area that you want to keep, like the footprint size. And then from that you basically want to build up so you construct a space that consumes the bit you want to keep. And then what you want to do is split the two. Um, and, oh, it's the combined section, but you're actually removing it. So you're telling, take that object from that object, and then that's what you're left with. So this obviously gives us the base bit of that, and then I need to go away and bring in the other side, which is somebody's created the S2 and Galaxy Note, sort of same thing. And obviously I only need one side of it. So I'm gonna do exactly the same. Basically chop off the bits that I need. Um, so basically do the same thing, sketch, build a box, um, that's the, the plain the footprint of the area that you want and obviously it's a rough idea anyway you can always resize it and then you can just move it around make it bigger make it smaller Got a lot of wasted space at the back there so that's the box and then we can obviously move around underneath just to check right and I need a little bit of that so I'm going to make it there we go so I'll make sure it sits on top of that but I need a little bit for it to sit on the other one to sort of join it all together so I'm going to just take it with as much space as I can without um, there we go so there we go so I pinched off that bit which will give me the charging area and a bit of space at the bottom that allow me to attach it to the other bit so we're going to do exactly the same now we're basically going to tell it to take this from that. So you only want the bits that intersect. So get that from that. And there we go. That's what we're left with. So those two now, we just need to combine them. It's very rough and ready, but it was just, I've never ever done this before. So this obviously might seem crude to everyone that does CAD design or whatever. It might seem that I've got no idea what I'm doing. And um, that's because I have no idea what I'm doing. I've not read any instruction manuals or um, watched any how-to tips or anything because it's so difficult to say uh, how do you how do you Google that or how do you put that in YouTube or how do you put that into an FAQ to find out how you do this. So the easiest thing is just play around with it. Um, the worst case scenario is you have to start again. And this is the best bit about moving it around in 3D space. You can see where. It sits in one area, so there it looks like it's sitting, but obviously it's nowhere near. So you spin it around the other way, and then you can see from that axis that um, it's nowhere near. So I drag it across. So you can tell what I'm going to do now. So we'll speed this bit up just to get to the end, and um, then obviously uh, we'll look at what it turned out like.
So as you can see, I found that to be quite easy really to chop things off and add things and resize them and that. And I tried to make this a bit bigger to uh, fit in. Um, I've got some um, extra fast charge cables so they were a bit thicker so I tried to make the groove bigger to fit that in. Um, but after I printed this I thought you know there's wasted plastic there that's not used for anything so we can get rid of that and there's wasted space at the back there and it's quite uh, easy to move around and knock so even with the phone on there and that and it still moves around so I thought if I could put a box or something on the back there um, to hold keys and coins or whatever else at night you know sort of um, uh, jewellery things like that and then it'd utilize the space a bit more and weight it down a bit more so that's what I came up with so obviously both cables uh, one gets routed through the channel up through there and that connector sits just shy um, so that it basically allows you to plug the phone in that supports it from rocking off and then this holds it at the back so that works really well and the S2 gear um, dock station sits in there perfectly um, angled enough so that when you put your uh, watch on there um, you know it's still sort of pushing against there so it's well connected um, and then I put a little box on the back a very thin box foot you know um, it's um, quite strong so the layers have adhered quite well um, that's a 0.2 millimeter as well so I mean it's a quick print uh, it's come out really well and um, so the only thing we're really missing now is a time lapse um, showing how this was made so thanks very much for watching please go ahead and uh, look at all my other stuff all the other videos and um, subscribe click the like button leave your comments down below anything like that fantastic don't forget to read the, the description or the link to this which is my model um, and the original ones that I took the pieces from and um, cue the time lapse.